Hello and welcome. My name is Mr. Asprey and today I'm bringing you what I believe is the hardest Edexcel maths question from the Jan 2022 exam series. Uh, it's a question 26. It's the final question on one of the papers and it reads as follows. An arithmetic series has first term A and common difference D where D is a prime number. The sum of the first n terms of the series is Sn and Sm equals 29 and S2m equals 320. Find the value of D and the value of M. Show clear algebraic working. Of course, we love algebraic working. Uh, let's get into it. So the first thing you need to know is the um, arithmetic summation formula, which is given in the formula booklet. It is that N over 2 multiplied by 2a plus n minus 1d is the summation. And the uh, letters represent a represents the first term, and d represents the common difference, and n represents the position of the term in the sequence or uh, the position of how many uh, terms you're going to be adding together. Okay, so what have they uh, given to us? They tell us that sn is equal to 39. So I can write that the position m over 2 multiplied by two lots of the first term, which we don't no idea what it is, plus m again is the position minus 1 multiplied by d, and that's equal to 39. And the second formula I can create is that 2m over 2 because 2m is the position of this particular summation multiply by 2a again and then 2m minus 1d and that is equal to 320. So I've got two equations there and we're going to solve them simultaneously because we've got two unknowns in what we're trying to work out. Okay so um, let's try and rearrange these formulas to make them a bit easier to work with. So I can multiply both sides by 2 of the first equation and I can expand the little mini bracket inside the square bracket and that gives me as follows. And then if I've multiplied the left-hand side by 2, I've also got to multiply the right-hand side by 2 to make 39. And with the second formula, 2m over 2 is just the same as m. Uh, so I can simplify that down to get m. And again, I can multiply out that little mini bracket inside to get 2md minus d. And that will equal 320. And then I can um, rewrite both of these equations by multiplying out the bracket and multiplying every term inside the bracket by m, essentially, which is going to give me this 2ma plus m squared d minus md is equal to 78. And again, for the other one, I'm going to get 2ma plus 2m squared d minus md is equal to 320. Now, I'm hoping that you can see here how we're going to solve these equations because they are very similar. So if we subtract one from the other, then it should um, give us an expression for just that m squared d because the two ma's will cancel and the minus md's will cancel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract up. So I'm going to do 2m squared d minus m squared d. It's just 1m squared d. And 320 minus 78 is 242. Okay, now what values can m and d take? Well, I know they have to be integer values. Well, at least I know that m is definitely an integer because it represents a position in a sequence. And I also know that, uh, that, that d is prime, so that's also an integer as well. So let's find the um, prime factors of 2, 4, 2. Now, m squared is obviously a square because it's m squared. So what values could I, um, could I let m squared equal? Well, I could let m squared equal 121, or I could let m squared equal 1, actually, as a possibility. And if m squared was 1 then that would mean that d would be 242, but that's not possible because we were told that d is equal to a prime. 
So the only other possibility is that m squared is, a, um, is 121, which makes m equal to 11. And that's our final answer. We have that d must equal 2 and m must equal 11. Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe for more fantastic mathematical GCSE content. Bye.